We are hearing the 911 call after a man was allegedly shot and killed by his own daughter in his Mount Pleasant home. Yesterday, Brittany Simpson was charged with the murder of her father, Robert Simpson. But we hear Brittany on that 911 call made by one of her sisters. And in that call, she has a different story about what happened. Where are the suspects now? I don't know. I don't know. Brittany, come here. Is it someone came in the house? Yes, and they said she did it. How do you know? Okay, what's going on? There's a public team there, and someone just came in the back door, and you know they are. Somebody just came in. You would have came in. Just some of the 911 call there. Brittany Simpson went through bond court this afternoon. She was denied bond. News 2's Travis Price was in court where friends of the Simpson family spoke. Travis, what they have to say? Good evening, Brendan. Well, the family friend was very heartfelt and sincere given the circumstances in addressing Brittany Simpson. The 31-year-old is facing murder charges and also a uh, possession of firearm during a violent crime. Now, Simpson's bond hearing started 30 minutes later with no explanation from Charleston County officials. She appeared via closed circuit television from inside the jail. Her attorney, David Ayler, told the court and also reporters later that his client has a disability, but he would not go into further detail about that. The family of the victim, of course, the, uh, the, the, the accused uh, family as well, did not address Address the court, but a friend of both the victim and the accused killer did. Take a listen. Your family and everybody involved in this situation just hopes that you'll tell the truth. It's time to just tell the truth and be honest. Honesty will set you free. In newly released court documents, we learned that police divers did find a green backpack that had the murder weapon and also Simpson's clothes with it that had been weighted down in the water in Hobcock Creek with a three pound dumbbell. Also in those same documents, uh, we're told that Simpson did confess to killing her father.